low fat, low carb, vegan, Mediterranean, intermittent fasting, paleo, vegetarian. How can anyone know what to do? I touched on the concept of high protein diets briefly while discussing the low fat versus low carb debate, but I think this deserves more attention. It really may be a way of understanding how some of these very different dietary approaches may be equally effective for some people. High protein will almost always mean nutritious and filling. In other words, it's a high satiety diet. It keeps you feeling full and content for longer, making it easier to eat less. Think of these different macronutrients as different levers that you can adjust to get the results you want. To define macronutrients, this is just a fancy way of saying the amount of protein, carbohydrate, and fat in your diet. These are macro because they comprise a large part of our natural diet. If you want weight loss, increase protein and decrease carbohydrates and or fats while adjusting for taste and maintaining a diet that is enjoyable yet helps you reach your goals. Don't go all the way to skinless chicken breast and plain tuna. They are filling and they are high protein and low fat and low carb, but they're not very satisfying, especially if you want to try to eat just that day in and day out. How much protein do you need? About 0.5 to 0.9 grams per pound is a reasonable range, or 20 to 35% of calories. What other factors affect satiety? Higher water content, higher fiber content are generally more filling. Higher starch and higher sugar, higher fat are not necessarily filling. Think salad versus potato chips and cookies. The next question is, does quality matter? And the answer is, as you might guess, complicated. If you're independently wealthy and have nothing but time on your hands, go for wild caught, grass fed, pasture raised animals and animal products. If you aren't, then consider pasture raised eggs and butter from grass fed cows if feasible, and then don't fret over the other details day to day. Change my views on this some with the vastly increased food cost and seeing people fret over these details to the point where it ends up being a barrier that keeps people from making meaningful changes that could greatly improve their health overall. It may be true that maximizing quality has some benefit, but you can make vast improvements over the standard American diet without worrying over the details of where the animal products you're consuming were raised and what they were fed. If you want more written information on this, I would recommend checking out dietdoctor.com or checking out some of their podcasts or YouTube videos on high protein and low carb diets. They seem to have some very reliable information and guidance. Also, please continue to follow along with us as we work to help you with reforming your life. I'd like to leave you with a little scripture to ponder as you go through the remainder of your day. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 27 through 32. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back and tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Do not devise evil against your neighbor for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways for the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord but his secret counsel is with the upright. Thank you, and I hope you have a blessed day.